can see here's the coronary artery and then it disappears and then it comes back again. It always starts with uh, echocardiography, which is the bread and butter of pediatric cardiac imaging, that's ultrasound imaging. One of the things that I'm able to do is a, a process called virtual dissection. This is taking the two-dimensional images that come out of the MRI and the CT scanner and turning them into three-dimensional images that can then be sliced and reoriented by as small as, as less than a millimeter in order to show both vascular and intracardiac detail to the surgeons and the interventionalists in order to properly plan uh, their procedures in the best possible ways. While three-dimensional imaging has become uh, commonplace in pediatric cardiology, the ability to take that imaging a step further into a virtual dissection style mode is not available in many heart centers and there are only a handful of heart centers across the country who are routinely doing this. For MRIs, the patients will arrive, they uh, will go into the scanner, which uh, in our pediatric hospital looks like a sandcastle, and they lie there in the MR scanner for 30 to 60 minutes following some routine breathing instructions while we non-invasively acquire the images. One of my roles in the care of these kids is to be at the scanner to actively make decisions on what we need and don't need to see and how it's best to acquire those images. Quite rapidly, we're able to uh, reconstruct three-dimensional imaging and, and within half an hour, if needed, uh, we can have a virtual dissection created for our surgeon to review. It's important to have as much information going into an operation or an intervention as possible. The imaging provides very fine detail in a three-dimensional way that had previously not been available to our surgeons and interventional colleagues. This hopefully shortens uh, operating time, interventional time, and, and allows for faster recovery and better overall outcomes uh, for our patients.